What can cause excessive or uneven tire wear? A. A faulty gearbox. B. A faulty braking system. C. A faulty electrical system. D. A faulty exhaust system. The correct answer is B. A faulty braking system. What style of driving causes increased risk to everyone? A. Considerate. B. Defensive. D. Competitive. C. Responsible. The correct answer is D. Competitive. How would you underinflated tires affect your vehicle? A. The vehicle's stopping distance would increase. B. The flash rate of the vehicle's indicators would increase. C. The vehicle's gear change mechanism would become stiff. D. The vehicle's headlights would aim high. The correct answer is A. The vehicle's stopping distance would increase. When are you not allowed to sound your vehicle's horn? A. Between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. in a built-up area. B. At any time in a built-up area. C. Between 11.30 p.m. and 7 a.m. in a built-up area. D. Between 11.30 p.m. and 6 a.m. on any road. The correct answer is C. Between 11.30 p.m. and 7 a.m. in a built-up area. How can you reduce the environmental harm caused by your motor vehicle? A. Only use it to short journeys. B. Don't service it. D. Drive faster than normal. C. Keep engine revs low. The correct answer is C. Keep engine revs low. You're approaching a zebra crossing. What should you do if pedestrians are waiting to cross? A. Give way to older and infirm people only. B. Slow down and prepare to stop. C. Use your headlights to indicate they can cross. D. Wave at them to cross the road. The correct answer is B. Slow down and prepare to stop. You're parked on the road at night. When must you use parking lights? A. When there are continuous white lines in the middle of the road. B. When the speed limit exceeds 30 miles per hour. C. When you're facing oncoming traffic. D. When you're near a bus stop. The correct answer is B. When the speed limit exceeds 30 miles per hour. How will your journey be affected by traveling outside the busy time of the day? A. Your journey will use more fuel. B. Your journey will take longer. C. Your journey will be more hazardous. D. 
your journey will have fewer delays. The correct answer is D. Your journey will have fewer delays. You plan your route before starting a journey. Why should you plan an alternative route? A. Your original route may be blocked. B. Your maps may have different scales. C. You may find you have to pay a congestion charge. D. You may get held up by a tractor. The correct answer is A. Your original route may be blocked. You have to arrive on time for an appointment. How should you plan for the journey? A. Allow plenty of time for the trip. B. Plan to travel at busy times. C. Avoid roads with a national speed limit. D. Prevent other drivers from overtaking. The correct answer is A. Allow plenty of time for the trip. What should you do if a vehicle pulls out in front of you at a junction? A. Swerve past it and sound your horn. B. Flash your headlights and drive up close behind. C. Slow down and be ready to stop. D. Accelerate past immediately. The correct answer is C. Slow down and be ready to stop. You're approaching a red light at a puffing crossing. Pedestrians are on the crossing. When will the red light change? A. When you start to edge forward onto the crossing. B. When the pedestrians have cleared the crossing. C. When the pedestrians push the button on the far side of the crossing. D. When a driver from the opposite direction reaches the crossing. The correct answer is B. When the pedestrians have cleared the crossing. How can you avoid wasting fuel? A. By having your vehicle serviced regularly. B. By revving the engine in the lower gears. C. By keeping an empty roof rack on your vehicle. D. By driving at higher speeds where possible. The correct answer is A. By having your vehicle serviced regularly. What could you do to reduce the volume of traffic on the roads? A. Drive in a bus lane. B. Use a car with a smaller engine. C. Walk or cycle on short journeys. D. Travel by car at all times. The correct answer is C. Walk or cycle on short journeys. What's most likely to waste fuel? A. Reducing your speed. B. Driving on motorways. C. Using different brands of fuel. D. Underinflated tires.
The correct answer is D. Underinflated tires. What does it mean if this light comes on while you're driving? A. A fault in the braking system. B. The engine oil is low. C. A rear light has failed. D. Your seat belt isn't fastened. The correct answer is A. A fault in the braking system. Why is it important to wear suitable shoes when you're driving? A. To prevent wear on the pedals. B. To maintain control of the pedals. C. To enable you to adjust your seat. D. To enable you to walk for assistance if you break down. The correct answer is B. To maintain control of the pedals. If you're involved in a collision, what will reduce the risk of neck injury? A. An air sprung seat. B. Anti lock brakes. C. A collapsible steering wheel. D. A properly adjusted head restraint. The correct answer is D. A properly adjusted head restraint. What does it mean if the signs at a bus lane show no times of operation? A. The lane isn't in operation. B. The lane is only in operation at peak times. C. The lane is in operation 24 hours a day. D. The lane is only in operation in daylight hours. The correct answer is C. The lane is in operation 24 hours a day. What should you do when a person herding sheep asks you to stop? A. Ignore them as they have no authority. B. Stop and switch off your engine. C. Continue on but drive slowly. D. Try to get past quickly. The correct answer is B. Stop and switch off your engine. What should you do when you're overtaking a horse and rider? A. Sound your horn as a warning. B. Go past as quickly as possible. C. Flash your headlights as a warning. D. Go past slowly and carefully. The correct answer is D. Go past slowly and carefully. What does it mean if your vehicle keeps bouncing after you sharply press down and release on the bodywork over a wheel? A. The tires are worn. B. The tires are underinflated. C. The vehicle is on soft ground. D. The shock absorbers are worn. The correct answer is D. The shock absorbers are worn. How will a roof rack affect your car? A. There will be less wind noise. B. The engine will use more oil. C. The car will accelerate faster. D. 
fuel consumption will increase. The correct answer is D. Fuel consumption will increase. What makes your tires illegal? A. If they were bought second hand. B. If they have any large, deep cuts in the side wall. C. If they are of different makes. D. If they have different tread patterns. The correct answer is B. If they have any large, deep cuts in the side wall. How should you dispose of a used vehicle battery? A. Bury it in your garden. B. Put it in the dustbin. C. Take it to a local, authority disposal site. D. Leave it on wasteland. The correct answer is C. Take it to a local, authority disposal site. What's most likely to increase fuel consumption? A. Poor steering control. B. Accelerating around bends. C. Staying in high gears. D. Harsh braking and accelerating. The correct answer is D. Harsh braking and accelerating. The fluid level in your battery is low. What fluid should you use to top it up? A. Battery acid. B. Distilled water. C. Engine oil. D. Engine coolant. The correct answer is B. Distilled water. What can you expect of you drive using rapid acceleration and heavy braking? A. Reduced pollution. B. Increased fuel consumption. C. Reduced exhaust emissions. D. Increased road safety. The correct answer is B. Increased fuel consumption. What could cause you to crash if the level is allowed to get too low? A. Antifreeze level. B. Brake fluid level. C. Battery water level. D. Radiator coolant level. The correct answer is B. Brake fluid level. What should you do if your anti-lock brakes, ABS, warning light stays on? A. Check the brake fluid level. B. Check the foot brake free play. C. Check that the parking brake is released. D. Have the brakes checked immediately. The correct answer is D. Have the brakes checked immediately. What makes the vehicle in the picture environmentally friendly? A. It's powered by gravity. B. LT is powered by diesel. C. 
It's powered by electricity. D. LT is powered by unleaded petrol. The correct answer is C. It's powered by electricity. Why have red routes been introduced in major cities? A. To raise the speed limits. B. To help the traffic flow. C. To provide better parking. D. To allow lorries to load more freely. The correct answer is B. To help the traffic flow. What's the purpose of road humps, chicanes and narrowings? A. To separate lanes of traffic. B. To increase traffic speed. C. To allow pedestrians to cross. D. To reduce traffic speed. The correct answer is D. To reduce traffic speed. You're waiting in a traffic queue at night. How can you avoid dazzling drivers behind you? A. Use the parking brake and release the footbrake. B. Keep your foot on the footbrake. C. Balance the clutch with the accelerator. D. Use the parking brake and footbrake together. The correct answer is A. Use the parking brake and release the foot brake. You're driving in traffic at the speed limit for the road. What should you do if the driver behind is trying to overtake? A. Move closer to the car ahead so the driver behind has no room to overtake. B. Wave the driver behind to overtake when it's safe. C. Keep steady course and allow the driver behind to overtake. D. Accelerate to get away from the driver behind. The correct answer is C. Keep steady course and allow the driver behind to overtake. What's the legal minimum depth of tread for car tires? A. 1 mm. B. 1.6 mm. D. 2.5 mm. C. For millimeters. The correct answer is B. 1.6 millimeters. You're carrying two 13 years old children and their parents in your car. Who's responsible for seeing that the children wear seat belts? A. The children's parents. B. You, the driver. C. The front seat passenger. D. The children. The correct answer is B. You, the driver. How can drivers help the environment? A. By accelerating harshly. B. By accelerating gently. C. By using leaded fuel. D. By driving faster.
The correct answer is B. By accelerating gently. What's the purpose of a catalytic converter? A. To reduce fuel consumption. B. To reduce the risk of fire. C. To reduce harmful exhaust gases. D. To reduce engine wear. The correct answer is C. To reduce harmful exhaust gases. When should tire pressures be checked? A. After any lengthy journey. B. After traveling at high speed. C. When tires are hot. D. When tires are cold. The correct answer is D. When tires are cold. When will your vehicle use more fuel? A. When its tires are underinflated. B. When its tires are of different makes. C. When its tires are overinflated. D. When its tires are new. The correct answer is A. When its tires are underinflated. What should you do if you're driving a slow-moving vehicle on a narrow winding road? A. Keep well out to stop vehicles overtaking dangerous. B. Wave the vehicles behind to come past you if you think they can overtake quickly. C. Pull in when you can to let the vehicles behind overtake. D. Give a left signal when it's safe for vehicles to overtake you. The correct answer is C. Pull in when you can to let the vehicles behind overtake. You're driving a car that has a diesel engine. What can loose filler cap on your fuel tank cause? A. It can make the engine difficult to start. B. It can make the road slippery for other road users. C. It can improve your vehicle's fuel consumption. D. It can increase the level of exhaust emissions. The correct answer is B. It can make the road slippery for other road users. What should you do to avoid fuel spillage? A. Check that your tank is only three quarters full. B. Check that you've used a locking filler cap. C. Check that your fuel gauge is working. D. Check that your filler cap is securely fastened. The correct answer is D. Check that your filler cap is securely fastened. Which instrument panel warning light would show that headlights are on main beam? A. B. C. D. The correct answer is A. When should you leave a two-second gap between your vehicle and the one in front? A. When it's raining. B. When it's dry. C. When it's icy. D. When it's foggy.
The correct answer is B. When it's dry. You're driving at night on an unlit road. What should you do if you're following another vehicle? A. Flash your headlights. B. Use dipped headlights. C. Switch off your headlights. D. Use full beam headlights. The correct answer is B. Use dipped headlights. You need to top up your battery with distilled water. What level should you fill it to? A. The top of the battery. B. Halfway up the battery. C. Just below the cell plates. D. Just above the cell plates. The correct answer is D. Just above the cell plates. How can you plan your route before starting a long journey? A. Check your vehicle handbook. B. Ask your local garage. C. Use a route planner on the internet. D. Consult a travel agent. The correct answer is C. Use a route planner on the internet. Why is it a good idea to plan your journey to avoid busy times? A. You'll have an easier journey. B. You'll have a more stressful journey. C. Your journey time will be longer. D. It will cause more traffic congestion. The correct answer is A. You'll have an easier journey.